Hi, Steve Ray here with another episode of Park Bench Pittsfield from our downtown Pittsfield office. And today I'm here with Jessica Marcella from No Loose Ends. Or as some people also know me now as Jessica Johnson. Jessica Just Jessica recently Johnson. married last year. That's okay. Well, congratulations, <laughs> but I'll probably forever call you. That's and all Jessica right. Marcella. <laughs> I feel like a few other people will too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, today you're here to talk about your new business. Yes, my new hair salon. No Loose Scents, 674 Tyler Street, right across from the beautiful St. Mary's Church being redone. Uh, we're a full service hair salon there. When did you open up? Last year, October 2018. Um, Lisa and I have been there, yeah, uh, working together for eight years now. That's good. Eight years you've been together? Yeah, eight, well, yeah, eight years I've, I've been in the business and um, you know, she's, she's taught me everything she knows, which should, you know, master in color creation. So how'd you get started in the profession? Uh, Joe Fabino talked me into going to PHS to work with Miss Ray and get my cosmetology license. I graduated high school with my cosmetology license and then was offered a job at Joseph on the Mall with Lisa. Um, you know, we, we worked there and we moved to a couple other salons and yeah a lot of wonderful hair days <laughs> so how'd you end up opening your own business yeah so i left lisa um for just a few years um branching off going and helping my parents and actually learning their family business which has been amazing as well marcel building a renovation also over on tyler street um but i really miss doing hair every day all day long and I had the opportunity within their business to open up my own hair salon, uh, which gave me the chance to finally get back into doing hair every day, but also still working with my family business right in the same place. So tell us a little bit, so you're back with Lisa again? I am back with Lisa back again, with yes. Um, back last year uh, when I was getting married, I talked to her about doing my hair for my wedding and um, we really rekindled our relationship and how wonderful it is for us to work together, especially after all these years. Um, so she decided to come and rent a chair from me and we've been back together ever since. It's, it's it, a stronger, better relationship, it's great. So tell us something about your business that people wouldn't know. Yeah, so uh, we actually have a state of the art HRV and our HVAC system that we all of you know our chemical services you can't smell them which all my ladies that know that go and get keratins and bleach and color it, it is a highly smelly service uh, we don't smell any of that another great asset to it you know people come in they're talking to me they need their porch done they need their roof done <laughs> i got the people for them to do it <laughs> we're all right in the same building so it's it um there are a lot of great um, aspects about my business also that were set back on Tyler Street right, so people would yeah, yeah so you know you're not you know people talk about hair salons or sometimes they're like in this fishbowl it's all windows and and a lot of people don't actually want you to see them getting their hair done while the process is happening we just want you know <laughs> we look like this when we wake up um, so it that's another great aspect for people they feel you know in this comfortable modern state-of-the-art salon but you're in the back you got plenty of parking you know those are those are definitely good assets especially for tyler street once you get people to know you're back there right yes it, it took a minute but we have a couple of different signs out there helping you know pointing you down in the right direction <laughs> so as a new business owner what are some of the challenges you faced over the last few months yeah, some of my challenges, um, we, you know, um, you know, social, with, with social media marketing, um, we're, we're getting better and, and pushing it more, trying to take more pictures and show people the before and afters. Like, you know, new people can see what we do. See what you're doing. Yeah. And I suppose being parked and back a little bit just getting people to know you're there yes yeah and uh, yeah a lot of people you know uh, oh I didn't know you were over here I mean we also just opened last year but we're getting there we're trying to get that name out you know and 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 push it so Tyler Street you open a new business on Tyler Street it's been Very a lot exciting. of time since people are uh, 
There's, I don't know, some new energy some going action. on down yeah. there. I'm sure you're, yeah. you're right in the middle of it, huh? Love it, love it. Um, yeah, I was one of 10 businesses that opened last year on Tyler Street. Wow. Um, at, you know, just so exciting. The St. Mary's Church, like it, you know, briefly said, not only is it so beautiful, it's going to be even more beautiful. That's uh, totally transforming right across the street. Um, we just, we have a whole, the, the Transformative Development Initiative, the TDI, we're going to get a whole streetscape this year, just like they did for North Street. So we're really seeing some up and coming changes um, and improvements to the area and, and for myself, my family, with the Tyler Street Business Group, we've all been very involved. Um, the, this is a very encouraging thing for us. So for me, opening up a business on Tyler Street was like a no-brainer. Seems all, all natural. You've because my parents have always yeah. said, yeah, exactly, I grew up on Tyler Street. But, um, you know, other people may not realize that, but that's why I also love all the new people that come into the shop and, and all of Lisa's clients, I love telling them about what's going on. You know, they always ask me, what's going on across the street? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> so you're part of the exciting new energy that's down there? Oh, yes, absolutely. And I'll, I'll still continue also to be a part of the Tyler Street Business Group um, because it's it's important that it keeps going. So back to your business, anything exciting, new that they should know? Yeah, uh, we are offering hair extensions now. Uh, Lisa and I are both certified in the Perfectus Hair, hair Extensions. Uh, it's 100% real Remy hair, gorgeous. Uh, two different techniques. Um, a lot of it for fullness, so, you know, length as well, but a lot of people want fullness with the hair extensions. Um, so those are wonderful. Um, yeah, we're, we're Always learning new. Always What's the overall certified. philosophy of your shop? Uh, healthy hair management. The education of our clients and how to take care of their hair while they're at home um, in the weeks that you don't see us. Um, anything you can offer or for new customers? We got anything special going yeah, on? Yeah, we go them? to uh, Park Bench Pittsfield, um, offering a 20% off new client um, coupon. Wow, great <laughs> deal. So, thank you for coming in. Um, thank you. Excited about the you investing part of our Very community. Excited. Thank you. And looking forward to your success. I just want to give you one thing here. You remember this? Oh, the seashell. They made this when you were a younger girl. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. And I wanted to give that to you. Oh. It's something Miss Ray had. Uh, Thank you. From you from when you were younger, and she wanted to give it back. Thank you so much. That's so You're sweet. Welcome. Oh, I love this. So remember, head over to Park Bench Pittsfield. Check out the discounts. <laughs> Jessica Marcella, no loose ends.